Thank you so much, everyone, and it's great to be here. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Um, as was mentioned, I'm here to talk about the independent review panel um, of the GTFCC. I'm a member of that panel. There's a, there's a group of us on the panel, and I, I was the chair, as mentioned, for the Kenya review, which was the most recent one. Um, so just to kind of... Um, talk about the independent review mechanism and where that sits. We have the, the steering committee, the GTFCC secretariat, um, and then within that there's a norms and standards, which is where each of the individual working groups sit, and then the country support platform. The independent review panel is off to the side of that, supporting the GTFCC secretariat and including components of both support and norms and standards. Um, so to go through the process, it's a collaborative process between the GTFCC and countries. And so the way this works is an NCP is developed, it's drafted, and it's submitted to GTFCC by the country. That's, a, that's step one. Step two is a review of the NCP by the independent review panel and um, joint work to improve the plan if necessary. And this could be multiple iterations or a single iterations, but this is a little back and forth discussion to improve the plan. Um, step three is the, uh, the NCP is endorsed. And then step four is implementation and monitoring. In terms of the review process, um, what happens once a country submits its NCP um, to the IRP via the Secretariat? Um, there's a kickoff teleconference between the members of the IRP that happens within about a one week time frame. Then there's a desk review where each member um, within two to four weeks reviews the plan. And there's, there's members with expertise in WASH and OCE in implementation. So the members of the IRP um, come together to provide input from, from multiple different aspects and sectors of cholera. Then the initial findings are presented to the GTFCC Secretariat. The conclusions and recommendations are finalized in a report. And then there's discussions between the Secretariat, including members of the IRP and the country. And this process takes about six weeks. There can be some iteration to do multiple reviews. Um, and there can be some specific questions answered um, to kind of think about improving the, the NCP before it is fully validated. Um, the criteria for NCP endorsement are, are dual. So the first is primary criteria, which is engagement of all actors and the multi-sectoral approach of the roadmap. Um, a goal of the NCP is bringing together the actors in country, knowing um, the actors, put, bringing them together at the table, completing a situational analysis according to GTFCC guidance, including looking at hotspots and trend lines, and then operational plans with activities and budgets for the the core components of surveillance, patient care, OCD wash, and community engagement. This is a bit of who's going to do what, where is the focus going to be, and how is it going to be done? The second cri secondary criteria are detailed considerations on a multi multi-sectoral approach and coordination, situational analysis, surveillance, management of care, OCV, WASH, and community engagement. And so that's about the detailed specifics within each kind of technical branch. Um, the benefits for the countries working on NCPs is, is visibility, increased credibility, coordination, access to the OCD stockpile, surveillance, and, and technical support and guidance, looking at human resources, implementation, support, and m and &E. Now to date, there's been two reviews completed since the launch of the IRP mechanism. This is a, the Zimbabwe multi-sectoral cholera elimination plan and the Kenyan national multi-sectoral cholera elimination plan. Uh, these reviews were conducted in last year, May, 2020, and then early this year in January to February of 2021. There's also a, a perspective, a multi-sectoral 
sectorial cholera elimination plan for Ethiopia, where the review is planned for June to July 2021, which is just ramping up now. Um, and so I wanted to say thank you for the opportunity to share this work that the IRP has been doing. I wanted to thank all the members of the IRP who are dedicating and donating their time for the review and GTFCC and the countries for moving this forward. So I will stop my share and bring this back to the main screen. And I wanted to thank you so much for the opportunity to present.